Hey everyone, this is Keegan Wilkinson, head men's lacrosse coach at Marist College. First off, a major thank you to the staff at Richmond for organizing the coaching through cancellation platform. All of us in the Marist lacrosse family hope everyone is staying safe and that we can all return to the field healthy as soon as possible. Today I'm joined by my assistant coaches, Dave Scarcello and Tyler Perrell, to give you a number of drills that we hope coaches can take out to their practice fields in the near future. These drills have all been adopted or learned through the study of other great programs and coaching staffs. So to those of you who have, we have borrowed them from, thank you. Today's video will give you three drills in 10 minutes. Let's go. Drill number one, 22 half field. This drill is designed to give two-on-two -two repetitions in a tighter space to create difficult situations for both the offense and defense while also working on off-ball defensive posture. Our hope is for this drill to enhance communication for our on-ball defenders while defending pick play from the offense and to give our offense great reps in two-on-two -two pick setting. The number one thing you'll need for this drill is a set of cones to cut the field in half vertically running from the top of the crease to the restraining line, giving you two mini fields on both sides. You'll see each rep in 22 half field usually lasts between 10 to 15 seconds. That allows both sides of the ball to go through a series of reads and forces them to play with great communication rather than repping out scripted looks. Defensively, we like to switch picks with how tight they're being set to the cage, which we believe elevates the mentality of play on both sides. It encourages the offense to slip, reject, and reset picks, and we want our guys to have the mentality to attack what the defense is trying to take away from them. We'll want the principles used during this drill to be translated into the way we're playing six on six for both sides of the ball. We also use this drill to work on staying seated as off-ball defenders. You'll notice the defenders that are next in line staying seated along the cones up the middle of the field. In this first clip, notice how both offensive players constantly bounce out to free their hands up from the pressure on ball that is given by the long bounce. 13 dodges down, rolls back, and 18 is doing a great job of giving him space off ball with a great dump pass. Second clip, you'll notice number 34 does a great job of what we call ghosting this pick, appearing as if he's going to set it and then creating space for number four. That puts pressure on the defense and allows to the top side, giving him a one more pass with great tight hands. 34 gets to the top of the crease for the finish. Now watch our off-ball defender quarterback the two-man game. He has great depth on this pick here to give space to the on-ball defender, and once he sees that there's contact, we get an immediate switch and close out on the ball carrier. Even in big little scenarios, we'll switch these picks inside 15 yards. Our short stick does a great job of staying upfield and forcing the ball down the alley, leading to a nice slide from 43 to put the ball carrier on the deck. Drill number two, Berkman one-on-ones. This drill was learned from Salisbury head coach Jim Berkman and is designed to give one-on-one -on -one dodging repetitions in a more game-like atmosphere. One off-ball defender with slide responsibility is added to make the one-on-one -on -one more realistic along with two off-ball offensive players. The drill enforces the next layer of a game-style speed dodge, something that can get lost in traditional one-on-one -on -one drills. You'll need two ball buckets for the coaches to send the balls in, and defensive players want to make sure they are approaching on the flight of the ball as the coach inbounds the ball to the dodger. Pay close attention to the clips to see how the drill flows with players being added from specific lines. Here is an example of Berkman one-on-ones. First, notice the setup. The team is split into O and D, and there is a line of both O and D at the wings, behind at X, and top middle. As the ball comes in from a coach's pass, the two adjacent offensive players join the play while the furthest defender comes in as off-ball help, always communicating. The object offensively is to receive the ball, dodge quickly, and draw a slide. Always looking to go to the net, but keeping your head up for when the adjacent slide does come. Defensively, we are looking to, to force one way. We need to slide hard and recover quickly. 
After each rep, the pass is thrown to a different line, changing all offense and defensive players who are involved in the drill. This is a great drill for quick one-on-one -on -one reps while also emphasizing Dodgers to keep their heads up to feed and defenders to communicate, slide hard, and recover fast. Here is a great Berkman one-on-one -on -one offensive rep. Number 40 dodges hard for Max while keeping his head up. The off-ball offensive players create space for him. He draws a slide, dishes it for a good goal. Number 41 at X dodges hard, putting our defenseman in a bind, good spacing by our offense, good feed, and a good finish. This last example of good offense in Berkman one-on-ones begins up top with a hard little hesitation dodge down the alley for a strong hand with a clear through, putting the defenseman in a bind for a shot. We start every rep with a three to five yard approach for our defenders. We want them getting comfortable throwing a poke to start their drop steps. 24 does a great job of staying in the back hip of the Dodger here. Watch how our off ball defender is constantly adjusting his feet and hips to stay in great sliding position while splitting the two offensive players off ball. 22 gets a great lift to squeeze the Dodger into our coma slide. By sliding to the back of the helmet, we force the Dodger to fade from the cage. 22 then does a great job of staying open to the ball to disrupt this pass. Drill number three, 55 with the ghost. This drill was learned from the Yale lacrosse staff and is designed to give five on five reps in a tighter space to create quick reaction situations that enhance communication for both the offense and defense. Both the offense and defense must be ready for mul multiple fast restarts with the defense communicating matchups and getting organized on the second whistle. You can enhance the competitive spirit of the drill by starting it with a one on one ground ball at times. If the defender is to win the ground ball, have them get rid of it and just inbound a second ball to start the drill. Here are some live reps of 55 with the ghost. The first thing you'll notice on this rep is that we started off a ground ball, just to get the juice going and the competitive spirit high to start the drill. Once the defense gives up possession of the ball, we'll throw another ball in to get it started. We're gonna let you watch the clip play with limited voice overlay so that you can get a feel for how the drill flows and the talk that will enhance both teams offensively and defensively. One of the things you'll notice is how fast the ball moves and how many different situations the defense has put up from a sliding perspective. Whether it's the ball being behind from the high wing or up top. In these short situations, you're putting your defense in multiple different reads that they're going to have to communicate. You can notice on the second rep that we just throw the ball in to get the drill started. The defense makes a great play and the ball comes in quickly for Max which asks the defenders to quickly match up and get organized off ball. Notice all the fast rotations from the defense. Here are two great offensive reps in 55 with the Ghosts. Number 16 receives the ball and attacks right away, putting the adjacent help in a bind as he finishes. He is now out. Ball comes in from X with number 10 who dodges hard, Hits the skip look for a re-dodge, a quick dump for one more, and a goal. Our middies decide to attack the poles that are playing up top. Number 16 starts with the ball. He will pass and set a pick for a sweep over the top as our adjacent midfielder fades away properly, receiving the pass and attacking right away and finishing. He is now out. The ball comes in from X with number 10, who attacks immediately on the recovering defender. He attacks hard, making the defenders trip, finishing, and making the sideline go wild. One of our major focuses during 55 with the Ghost is staying tight to the hub as adjacent defenders. Watch our LSM on the backside stay seated and pinched as adjacent help when 28 sweeps across the top. 
If he had taken false steps out to his man, he would have opened up a lane for 28 to turn the corner downhill. We like this aggressive slide from 38 here. We're not beat, but he sees it as an opportunity to create a double team. The offense ends up making a great pass for the goal, but the drill continues with the ghost coming from X. The defense does a nice job of matching up, and we get a great close out here on the skip pass. We force 28 to become a dodger rather than being able to step in for a time and room look. Defense gets a nice stop on the second ball. The defense does a great job translating our 22 half field principles into 55 with the ghost. We get a great switch and takeaway on this two man game with four then immediately becoming the on ball defender with the ghost coming from X. We get great adjacent help from our short stick on the wing which leads to an adjacent rotation up top. Our goalie ends up making a great save to finish out the rep. Thanks so much for tuning in. It was an honor and a privilege to share these drills with you, and we hope that you took something away from each of them. You can follow us on GoRedFoxes.com.